while you were researching this book, did you visit in Arizona Media Crater? And how closely did you work with people, old colleagues, present individuals at NASA? NASA was very helpful to me. I know um, uh, General Charles Bowden, mm -hmm. and he put me in touch with several um, experts. And as I wrote this, I would send uh, material uh, to the NASA experts to say, tell me if I'm getting too far astray. And so NASA was very helpful uh, to me. I didn't go out to look at the crater, um, but what, I've read a lot about it. And What uh, size asteroid, or, uh, what size asteroid uh, hit? Earth, because that crater, I think, is actually, diameter-wise, I could be wrong, uh, maybe somebody could uh, tell us what the correct answer is. I think it's about over a mile uh, wide. It is. The bigger one was uh, in Yucatan. That was, uh, that hit in, I'm trying to think, that was 65 million years ago, the one that is in, uh, in uh, Latin America, in uh, Yucatan. But, but they must be, a sm they must be small, from what you're saying, they must be, the meteor asteroid must be small. Sure. Let me give you an example. Uh, what also got my attention is in 2012, uh, there was a small asteroid that flew over parts of Russia. Uh, and the asteroid was roughly 56 feet in diameter, uh, so not very big. It was traveling at uh, 43,500 miles an hour. Uh, and it did not come and hit uh, directly, but exploded and destroyed uh, uh, some 1,400 people were seriously injured and blew out uh, windows over a 22,000 uh, uh, acre uh, area. So that was 56 mm. feet. The same day, there was another asteroid, slightly bigger, 96 feet. Uh, and uh, it passed, and we didn't see this one coming either. So uh, that's the issue that is most of, most concerned to me. Do we have enough assets, space base and earth base, to make sure that we can see them far enough uh, in advance? Because if we do, we can send up satellites with power boosters and we can attach them to asteroids. You saw this most recently, right, in the paper last this past week, where there's a woman, I forget, she's somewhere over in Europe, and she has uh, laid uh, title to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. And she had sold shares in her particular endeavor, and she brought a lawsuit now saying that uh, she owns a piece of the sun. Uh, and it just struck me as uh, curious that these sorts of things are going on. But it, it raises the issue of moving things. Uh, there's enough out there coming at us. And most of the astrophysicists say it's not a question of if, but when. And they can't tell you whether it's going to be a thousand years from now or tomorrow. And that's the real danger. If you thought it was an incoming missile, you would say, put up a defense, right? Get something that will defend our planet Earth. So we have to think of it in almost a Cold War mentality that we have to devise a defensive system, and that is detection, before it becomes too late. Because Charles Bowden, and I quote it in the front of the book, uh, he testified before Congress, and he said, if we have enough time, uh, we, can, we can deal with it. If you tell me it's coming in three weeks, it's time to pray. <laughs> and uh, we don't want to have to uh, pray. And that's why these most recent um, uh, asteroids, um, 56 feet, 98 feet, uh, had they come in and hit at a different uh, angle, we would have had tremendous devastation. And there are big ones out there, so that's what we have to be concerned about. Uh, I mentioned to Tautus, uh, there's uh, Apophis, which is the, um, the name for the Egyptian god of death. And uh, they have tracked the cycle, and it's coming in, a, in about five or six years, it's going to make a, um, an orbit close to us, and then another one, and then by 2068 is going to be fairly close. So we know that, we're tracking it, and so we and others, the Chinese, the Russians, and others are all concerned about this, that we have to take care years in advance, see them coming, so we can just kind of nudge them off their course. Is this how the dinosaurs were? That's, that's what happened 65 million years ago with the dinosaurs. Mm.